Hi, it's me again. I want to come on here and talk to all of you a little bit about test anxiety. Because I know that a lot of exams are happening pretty much throughout the year, but there's certain times of year that you tend to have more exams and it can just be overwhelming. So I have a few tips for you that hopefully help and these are things that I see my students go through and I've gone through myself and so I understand. And especially if chemistry is one of those, those topics that are, it's a little, um, feels a little uneasy or it could also be that maybe you're actually pretty good at chemistry but you didn't have enough time to study and so you're going into the exam just not feeling quite prepared and that can give you a little bit of that anxiety too. So the first thing I want to say is if you're thinking about staying up all night get some sleep <laughs> and I know it's tempting to just try to cram it all in there you know uh, but having some rest even if it's just four hours that is something that's going to help a lot and it's going to help with the clarity because this is one of those things when you're sitting down with the exam and you look at a problem and your eyes get big. You're like, I don't know what this is asking. So this is when that clarity really helps. So what you can do is just pause and even look away from that problem. You could even go on to another problem and then come back to it. And read it slowly. Read it slowly and intentionally. And read every word because you would be surprised sometimes you see one word and for some reason your mind it says choose the smaller radius and your mind is thinking bigger radius or, or something so that can happen when you're feeling a little bit panicked so taking that time to read very carefully very slowly and is sometimes still you don't know you feel uncertain and you feel like you don't know either how to answer it or which way to go if it's a, a problem that you need to solve and go through a process. So here's something else you can do. And this works. And I know this works because I've done it myself. So this is where you actually imagine what if I were and then choose someone that you admire that knows that topic well that knows chemistry well if it's chemistry i remember doing this on a geometry test and my brother was a few years older than me and he was always really good at math always aced aced all of his math tests and i was sitting there in a geometry test and there was a problem that stumped me I didn't know what to do, but I stopped. Apparently I did know what to do, <laughs> I'll put it that way. So I stopped, took a step back, and I thought, what if I was my brother? What would he do? It didn't even have to become him. I just thought, what would he do? How would he solve this problem? And I swear, I looked down, picked up my pencil, and I solved it. And it was just taking myself out of my anxious self and putting myself into someone that I imagined was more confident. And here's the cool thing, is that it was actually me that solved that problem. It wasn't my brother. And you can do the same thing. You can be looking at something, feeling confused, feeling uncertain, 
not knowing what to do. But if you can shift your mindset, even just a little bit, it's actually in you. A lot of this you have studied, and even if it doesn't feel solid, it is there. So I just want to give you those tips. Also, let's say you vomit. It happens. I got a D in physics first time I took it, physics one in college. And I did much better after that. But, um, you know, sometimes things just don't go as planned. And don't let that stop you. I still went on and got a PhD in chemistry, even with that D in physics. Bad grades don't need to stop you. Okay. I just realized I'm like waving this thing around. This is a little, little tiny baby periodic table. So... I just got a bunch of these I want to give to my students. I, I was just thinking I should get a um, little ASMR chemistry periodic tables to give away, huh? All right, well, there's a, a little bit of, I guess you'd call it mindset. It's not doing chemistry with you, but I did want to just touch base with you and share a little bit of what I think can be helpful, and especially when you're working on Things where you feel like the grades might matter or you, you feel like they matter. Cause a lot of times grades do feel that way. There's uh, just something that goes with those grades. We feel like they're important. And I suppose in some ways they are, but in some ways they're not. But it takes a long time to, to be able to step away from not worrying so much about grades. So, all right, well, go forth and crush that chemistry, and I will see you again real soon. Probably you'll be looking down at my calligraphy pen doing chemistry, but I'll still see you.